Hello and welcome in the 16th episode. In this episode we will implement the game settings screen. So in the game settings we want to let the player to clear up the game data. So in this screen we will put the rest of game, reset game progress button. So whenever a player press this button all of the game da data will be, will, be, will be deleted. So he will start from the, from the beginning. As we see now there will be no information at all in the game. Okay, so let's get started. Open our project. And then I will go to the uh, scene folder and open the game progress scene, uh, sorry, game setting scene. Okay, inside this scene, we already have a canvas. So that's good because we have our back button. We want to right click on the canvas, UI, and create new button. So button. And I will name this button button reset reset game progress okay then we want to apply the the graphics for this button so the graphic is available under the resources sprites button game settings and we have the reset game progress button so just grab this sprite and then drag and drop it into the source image for our image so we have our button in and then let's say the size. So I will set the size to be 160 by 80. Okay. And I will set the scale on the on the X to be 1.9. So we have a much much bigger button. And then I think we need to change the camera settings. So click on our main camera. And I will change the size from um, from 5 to be 2.5. Okay, and then click on our canvas and inside the canvas change the render mode from the screen space overlay to screen space camera and we want to grab the camera, the main camera and drag and drop it into the render camera. Uh, then plane distance I will set to 10. To 10. Sorting layer, uh, we don't need this one. Uh, so the canvas color the canvas color I will set uh, scale with screen size and then 800 by 600 by 600, but I will change it to the match to the, to match uh, height. Okay, so our button appear much much bigger now, and then we need to reposition our our back button and uh, we need to actually position everything correctly. So I will go to our uh, back button and then manipulate the Y position to bring it up. Okay, then I will change the size for the back button as well to be maybe 8, 80 by 80. Okay, so it's much smaller. Then grab this reset uh, reset game progress button and then I think I'll move it a bit up, maybe maybe here. Okay, we need to remove this button text. So the text is there, so I'll just delete it. Okay, and in this button we will actually implement a very nice animation where we will have a cycle which will be filling up whenever the data will be restarting so the player will see that something is happening so i will just add additional component to this button so select the reset game progress button right click ui and then i will select the image okay and i will name this image to be radio progress bar okay I will set the width and the height to be 70 by 70. Uh, and I will set the scale on the X to be 0 0.52. Okay, so we want a half, so we have a square. And then we will move this, uh, this button to be on the side. So I will just change the X position to be right there. Okay, then we want to actually apply the graphics. So in our sprites, buttons, game progress, we have our progress bar background. So I just progress button background. So I just grab this sprite and then apply it. So we have like a darker cycle. And I will just change this position again to be to be over there maybe. Okay. Then maybe I will make this cycle a bit darker. So I will change the color of this to be maybe a bit more gray, something like that. 
Okay, I will add the next component uh, to this, which will be shadow. So we want to have a, some kind of a shadow for the bottom. So I will just add component and then type shadow. Okay, I will I will leave the default uh, default values. So you see, it's just adding the shadow on the edge. Uh, if you don't want this effect, that's fine. I think it looks cool. Uh, okay, then we want to add some scripts to our to our radial progress bar. So go to the scripts folder and then find the progress bar. So the progress bar script should be already available because we have used this script inside our game progress. Okay, so we want to have a loading bar and then text indicator. So let's uh, let's uh, just create the lo loading bar. So I'll just right click on this radial progress bar UI and then image. Okay, then uh, inside our graphics, uh, bottom game progress, we have a progress sprite. So I'll just drag this pro progress sprite onto the source image. And then I will set the width and the height to be 70 by 70. So we want to have the same uh, the same size as the as the radial progress bar. And I will name this component loading bar. Okay, loading bar. And uh, I will change the color from white to be red. You can set any color you like, really. Okay, then I will change this um, image type from simple to be filled. And then I will change this uh, film method to be radial 360. And I want to start from bottom. And then fill amount will be zero so it's gonna go looks like that if you want to have different effect you can change this uh, this bottom let's say from the left you want to start from the left i think i will start from the bottom it's up to you so make sure you're setting this fill amount to be zero and then you can do the clockwise on the counterclockwise is uh, is up to you okay and then i will click on the radial progress bar and I will drag, the, drag and drop this loading bar onto the loading bar field, like that. So now we need a text indicator. So first of all, I will clear, create another, another image. So right click on our radial progress bar, UI image. And then I will uh, find the sprite progress button bar background, or this one, and then drag and drop into our source image. Okay, then change the width to be 50 and the height to be 50. So we have a smaller cycle inside our bigger cycle. And then I will also add the shadow. So add component shadow. Okay, I will leave the different values. So we have like a kind of a 3D effect here. And then we, uh, I will name this, um, this uh, entity to be center. Center. Okay, so I will right click on the center and then uh, select the UI text. So we want to add the text indicator now. The text width will be 38 and the text height will be 19. And then I will just uh, set the alignment to be in the middle and to be in the middle. Okay, so we have the center exactly in the middle. And I will change the uh, the font style to be bold. So I have, when I have a bold, and I will change the color to be red. You can really change. Uh, you can set any color you like. I think red looks okay. Maybe I will just change the Y position a bit to be more, maybe more in the center, like that. Okay. And I will name it text indicator. Text indicator. So now let's click on the bottom uh, re sorry on the radial progress bar and we need to apply this text indicator which we just created so just drag this text indicator and drop it on the text indicator field so i will click on this bottom reset game progress and i will add on click event so add this small plus then i will drag and drop the main camera and from the main camera i will select the menu buttons and then reset the game progress uh, okay we don't we don't have this function yet so we will just create it uh, okay so let's do that let's go to our scripts folder 
and then select the menu buttons okay and then open the visual studio so inside the visual studio we want to create another another function so right at the bottom i will i will type public void reset game progress okay and then from this we want to call the config dot reset reset game progress okay so this is the function we have uh, created uh, last time so let's see what it's doing uh, so it's getting the all of our score lists and set it to zero and then saving the file and then updating the score list so it's not deleting the file it's just setting all of the values from within the file to be zero okay so this is what it's doing so let's go to the main buttons and make sure uh, save everything so let's back go back to our uh, unity now and then click on this uh, reset game progress bar and then on click event make sure the main camera is in and we select the menu buttons and then select from the list reset game progress okay so this is the function we just created we will need actually one more one more script so we want to we want to fire up the event to start filling up the cycle whenever the player press the bu this button and then at the end we want to display the green tick on the top of this uh, of this uh, small cycle inside to indicate that the pro that the resetting progress has been done uh, so i will just right click uh, in the in the scripts folder and then create new c sharp script and then i will call it uh, reset game progress reset game progress button okay let's open the visual studio and then let's open the reset game progress button okay so uh, so the first thing we will need is a um, few public variables so first one will be public sprite sprite uh, done icon so whenever we're done we want to display some kind of icon on the top another will be public game object center target image so we want to position our sprite uh, to the to the to the middle cycle inside the bottom uh, the next one will be public transform loading bar and then public transform uh, text indicator okay uh, the next uh, thing will be uh, the variable private float target amount uh, will be equal to 100 and then private Float current amount will be equal to zero dot zero f then private float speed will be equal to fifty and then private bull clicked will be equal to false. Okay, so Okay, so this is all of, all of the values we need. So in our start method, uh, we want to do the clicked will be equal to false. Then the text indicator, text indicator dot get component, and we want to get the text. Okay, so the text is not recognized. This is because we didn't include the Unity UI. So right at the top, put using. Unity Unity Engine.ui So text indicator uh, text dot text will be equal to 
and then I will first of all want to cast it to int and then do the current amount uh, and we want a current amount dot to string okay so we want to cast the current amount to int and we want to get the cast values so make sure you have the braces right plus percent so it's gonna be okay the percent sign so the current amount at the beginning will be zero so that will display the zero percent and then the next one will be loading loading bar dot get component and then get component will be image dot fill amount will be equal to and now I want to cast to float current amount divided by 100 dot zero f by 100 percent okay and then the text indicator text indicator dot uh, game object dot set active will be equal to true uh, will be equal to false okay so at the beginning before we start filling up the cycle we don't want to see the text we want to see the empty cycle okay so inside our update method we will put if clicked so if the player click the button and then if the current amount is less than the target amount we want to do the current current amount plus equal speed times time dot delta time and then we of course want to uh, do the text indicator dot get component we want to get the text dot text will be equal to and then again I can actually copy this uh, this current amount we actually want to do exactly the same and then we want to do the same line so I will just copy this loading bar and then paste it below and then otherwise we want to do the text indicator dot game object set active so I will just copy this line and paste it there okay and I will just copy this loading bar again put it below and then we want to get that center image dot get component and we want to get the image dot sprite will be equal to done done icon so we want to replace our center image with the with the icon and then clicked will be equal to false okay so this is it for our update method we need uh, one more method one more function so right below I will put public void click and then the clicked will do just one thing we'll be setting the click to be equal to true so we want to trigger the click from here uh, actually as you see I made a mistake because I named the method the same as the variable name so the, we can't do that so I will just uh, change the name of the function to on clicked okay and then I want to copy this text indicator game object dot set to be equal to false over here but we want to change this false to be true okay so whenever the player clicked whenever we're going to call this function we want to display the text indicator straight away so that's it for this uh, for this for this class let's save everything and go back to unity and now we need to click on this radio progress bar and uh, actually I've been checking this script and I think we don't need this script because this script will not work the game uh, the progress bar will not work for us at this moment
So I will just re remove the script from here. And instead of this script, we're going to use our new uh, new script, reset game progress button. Okay. And then, uh, okay, let's first of all apply the done icon. So the done icon sprite is under our buttons. Uh, is actually not under buttons, under the items, cycles, and then check. So let's drag and drop this check. Uh, the center target image is our center. So drag this center and drop it there. Okay, the loading bar is our loading bar. And then text indicator is our text indicator. Okay. So there is one more thing we need to do. We need to click on our bottom uh, reset game progress. And then we want to add another on click event. And then I want to drag this, uh, this radial progress bar into this, into this window and then select the function from our reset game progress button. And we want to call on clicked. Okay, so we want to start filling up the, the cycle. So now when we press start and press the button, okay, we have a problem here. So let's see what that, what that is. Okay, uh, we have a problem because the score list is not recognized. This is because we, we need to start our game from the main menu. So let's stop it, stop this game. Okay, and then let's go to our, first of all, let's save everything. So save, and then let's go to our scenes, main menu, uh, and then press this uh, setting buttons. Okay, and then press this button, and you see our, our button working fine. So we have a game progress, and once it's done, it's just actually displaying this, uh, this cycle in the middle. So I think that looks good. Uh, there is actually one more thing which I want to do. I want to add this uh, this flux on the on the side. So let's go back to the game settings, and then under the canvas, I will just create another image. So UI image. I will not name it at this point, and then go on to the sprites background, and I will have this background image. So I will just drag and drop onto the image component. I will set the width to and the height to be 100 and 100, but I will set the scale to be 4 and 2. Okay, I will just rotate it on the Z axis to be by 45 degree, maybe. And then let's let's move it to the to the side. So I will move it to the corner, maybe somewhere here. Okay, let's actually duplicate it. So I will select this image, right click and duplicate. And let's move this uh, this uh, image duplicated one to, to be on the opposite side of the game. Okay, I think that looks okay. Let's go with this first image a bit. So hide it a bit more. Actually, you can position it however you like. Okay, so now let's save this scene and actually let's test this button in action. So first of all, we need to go back to our scenes folder, then main menu. And let's press play. So as you see now, we don't have any information in our game game, pro, uh, game progress. So let's play the game. So I'm going to play the Europe. Uh, I will play the Survivor because it's the quickest game. So Hungary, Latvia, Montenegro. Okay, I'm quite good, I think, with it. But for this purpose, actually, I need to make uh, another mistake. So we have a four and three. Okay, well, let's go back. Let's go back and see our game progress. So we have a eight percent um, completed on the euro, and we have our list working fine. So go back. Okay, so we have fifteen percent now. Uh, I think this is a small book in the game, so you can try to figure out what is what is actually happening, why he's doing that. And we have again 23%. Okay, so, so if I go back now to our reset game progress and then press this button. Done. Go back and then see game progress. 
we actually see the 31%, but as you see, okay, it's not clearing down the data, so the, those two issues are related. Okay, I found a problem in the game, so let's uh, let's fix it. So open our um, inside the scripts folder. Let's open our config file. So in the config file, right at the top, if you scroll right at the top, uh, we have this create score file list, and the way we actually resetting the continent scores and the score list using this for each with the regular expression is not is not working correctly. So the, this uh, this basically this line of code is not doing anything. It's not setting these elements to to be zero. So this creating a lot of issues with saving and reading the data back in. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, actually do it a different way. So first of all, right at the top, I will create the public function. So public static void clear data, and I will clear uh, we will, inside this function. Uh, I will put the for int i is equal to zero. I is less than the number of score of score records i plus plus and then we want to do the score list at i will be equal to zero okay so that's it for this function and we want to call this uh, function in a minute but first of all let's fix this continent score list for each so in the create score file uh, the first line we don't want to do this one we want to do uh, another for loop so for int equal um, sorry i equals zero i is less than the less than the number of continents i plus plus and inside the for loop we want to do this continent scores at i is is equal to zero okay so we wanted to do it this way and then we want to delete this line. Okay, let's uh, let's just scroll down inside the score file list. Uh, sorry, create score file. We have another thing here. If the file does not exist, so what we want to do? We want to instead of calling this scroll uh, score list for each, we want to do clear data. Okay, and then if you scroll down, I think there are two more places. Yeah, so update score list. We do inside this update score list uh, function. We want to do another for loop. So for int i is equal to zero. I is less than the continent number of continents and then i plus plus and then we want to do the continent scores at i is equal to zero and then we want to remove this continent scores okay so let's scroll down and see if there is anything else we need to change Okay, and then the res reset game progress. Of course, this uh, this the, the button did not work because this function did not set the score list to zero. So every time you press the button, didn't take any effect, and then you save exactly the same scores as you had because this scores has not been cleared down. So instead of calling this score list for each, we want to call clear data. Clear data. Okay, inside this reset game progress. Let's scroll down, and that's it. Okay, let's save this file, go back to Unity, and then let's press play. And let's just quickly test everything. So if you go to the game progress, we have a 7%. Click Europe, go back. Click Europe, go back. Okay, I think that 7% was uh, calculated by mistake, because the, as you see, the number is staying the same if you go back and forward. Let's try a different continent. 
Seems okay. So now when you go into the game game uh, game settings, and then you press the reset game progress. Okay, and then you see there is a zero. Okay, we restarted the game progress. So now let's see if any file if black is uh, green. It's not. Okay, so let's test it again. Let's uh, go back to our play. How we choose maybe I don't know uh, North America survival. Let's see if I guess any of the flag. Probably not. A Dominicana. No, we didn't guess, so that's not gonna be helpful. Okay, let's stick with Europe. Monaco, that's right. Okay, Macedonia. Right, so we have a three flags guessed, three mistakes. If you go to the progress, we have a 6%. So let's see if we have all of the flags correctly. So we have a one, two and three. So three, five, three, three flags uh, are guessed, okay. We have a still 6%, so if you go back to the reset game progress, you're restarting the game progress. Going back, you have zero, and there is, should be no flux at all. That's correct. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine. Make sure you apply the fix to, the, to our config file. Uh, and uh, on the next, uh, in the next episode, we're going to upload this game on our mobile phone, and I will show you where the data is stored and uh, how we can delete the data manually. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider to subscribe. So I will make more tutorials. See you again in the next episode.